Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today we'll be seeing the sad departure of Abraham's wife Sarah. But on a lighter note, we have just registered our own domain name, so please be sure to check out dailyvisualbible.co.uk over the next few days as we expand in the hope of announcing the Word of God. Don't forget to subscribe, it's so easy to do, and I promise if I get 100 subscribers by the start of September, then I will produce a funny video that only my subscribers will get to see. If you wish to discuss anything in the show, please feel free to comment below, or if you prefer, you can use this email address. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 23 Sarah lived 127 years. This was the length of Sarah's life. Sarah died in Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Abraham rose up from before his dead and spoke to the children of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a foreigner living with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. The children of Heth answered Abraham, saying to him, Here is my Lord. You are a prince of God among us. Bury your dead in the best of our tombs. None of us will hold from you his tomb. Bury your dead. Abraham rose up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. He talked with them, saying, If you agree that I should bury my dead at my sight, hear me, and a treat for me to Ephron, the son of Zohar, that he may give me the cave of Mike Miller, which he has, which is in the end of his field. For the full price, let him give it to me, among you, for a possession of a burying place. Now Ephron was sitting in the middle of the children of Heth. Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the hearing of the children of Heth, even of all who went in at the gate of his city, saying, No, my lord, hear me. I give you the field, and I give you the cave that is in it. In the presence of the children of my people, I give it to you. Bury your dead. Abraham bowed himself down. Before the people of the land, he spoke to Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, If you will, please hear me. I will give you the price of the field. Take it from me, and I will bury my dead there. Ephron answered Abraham, saying to him, My lord, listen to me. What is a piece of land worth four kilograms of silver between me and you? Therefore, bury your dead. Abraham listened to Ephron. Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver of which he had named in the audience of the children of Heth, four kilograms of silver, according to the current merchant standard. So the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was before Mammi, the field, the cave which was in it, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all of its borders, were deeded to Abraham for possession in the presence of the children of Heth, before all who went in at the gate of his city. After this, Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of Machpelah, before Mamre, that is, Hebron. In the land of Canaan, the field, and the cave that is in it, were deeded to Abraham for possession of a burying place by the children of Heth.